Now, the directions for questions three, four, and six say to justify. This is the point where I always try to see if you've done justification before. And what I've usually found in the past is a handful of students have, but not a lot. So let's talk about what justification is. Justification is taking what we just did here by showing the work and adding one extra step to it. And that one extra step is you verbally tell me, um, in words, I should say, um, what you are doing from one step to the next. So when we say justify, we're trying to show in <clears throat> what we have been doing here. So we create two columns. We create a statement column and we create what we call a reason column. Now the statement column is what you guys have been doing for years, okay? It's you showing your work to solve out for the equation. So I'm gonna separate my two columns. I'm gonna just carry down the equation to start off with. And as we work through this year in geometry part of class, we're gonna take this to next level and do what we call proofs. But this is basically kind of a introduction to that. Now, I'm going to work the statement column first, and then I'll come back around and work the reason column. So, don't overthink this. What would be the first thing you would do to start solving out for n? Parentheses. And we know to get rid of parentheses by using our distributive property. So, on step 2, distribute the 10. 10n plus 60 equals 50. And then after this, this is what we call a two-step uh, equation. All we have to do is subtract 60. And then after that, in step three, all we gotta do is divide by 10. That is my children right now, if you can hear them screaming. Eloise and Benjamin. Eloise is seven and Benjamin is five. All right, tens cancel on both sides and negative 10 divided by 10 is negative one. And once you get n by itself, as we have, okay, we solve for the equation. But now we need to come around and justify. And the reason column, let's work through that. You have four steps on the left. We should have four steps on the right. Okay, first off, the very first reason that's not going to change for a long time is what I call given. I got to literally give you an equation to solve. In mathematics, we call that a given. That's like the helpful information. Then after that, tell me what steps we did from step one to step two. To go from 1 to 2, we use a distributive property. So that's a, literally what we're going to say, distributive property. To go from step 2 to step 3, tell me what we did. We did the subtraction property. Okay, we subtracted 60. And so what we call that is the subtraction property of equality. And lastly, how do we go from step 3 to 4? We divide it by 10. So it's the division property of equality. The reasons are never going to be like, hey, I divided by 10 or I added 60. No, they're going to be like your math vocabulary, your math properties you've learned over the years. And then we're going to add to this throughout the course of this year. That's how we justify Okay, give it some time, but uh, whenever I say justify, this is what I'm looking for, okay?